Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to use the array filter method in Angular. The filter method is a powerful built-in JavaScript function that allows you to filter elements from an array based on specified conditions. In this video, we will explore how to effectively use filter method in your Angular applications. So first, let's take a look at a basic syntax of the filter method. The filter method is called on an array and takes a callback function as an argument. The callback function is executed for each element in an array and it should return a boolean value indicating whether the element should be included in the filtered result or not. So the general syntax looks like this. The callback function receives three parameters. First one is element, which represents the current element being processed. Then we have the index option, which is the index of the current element. And then we have the array, which is the original array being filtered. And then we have the this or parameter that is optional parameter and allows you to specify the value of this keyword inside the callback function. Now let's see how to use the filter method in an Angular component. So suppose we have an array of objects representing the products and we want to filter the products based on specific category. So for that, let's open the Angular project in the app component. First of all, I will define a variable products is equal to an array and in that array we will have the product name. In that array we have the objects and in every object we have name, price and category. Electronics and in the name you can have any name. Let's add few more examples. Okay. Now after that I will create a, another property a variable called filtered products is equal to this dot products dot filter and we will filter it based on a specific category so let's say i have specified the clothes category and now go to the html here i will use this filtered products variable so for that i will create a ul tag within that we will have list tag and let's add the for loop so this is the latest syntax of using for loop in angular 17 so here we will use the filtered products and here i will add my list tag okay all right now let's open it in the browser you can see we have the filtered products let me add a dash after that so that it could be separated from the price now uh, let's change the category in the filtered products i am electronics and now you can see that it is showing the different results so in this filter function we are basically passing a callback function that is returning the boolean value based on this condition so here we are returning the boolean value based on this that if category is equal to the electronics then return true otherwise return false so all the of the products that have the category property equal to electronics would be considered and would be stored as an array in this variable and then we will use that to iterate them in this list okay further you can use multiple conditions as well in this filter function for that you just have to add the and logical operator and add the p dot price is greater than 20 so in this way it will show only those products that have the category electronic and the price that is greater than 20. so it is still showing two products but change it to maybe 100 then you will see only one product because there is only one product that has price greater than 100 okay sometimes you need to filter an array of objects that contain nested objects or arrays to access nested properties in the filter callback function, you can use the dot notation or bracket notation. Okay, so let me demonstrate that. So let's suppose we have the name and after name we have another property specs and we will add an object that would be nested inside the main object and here we have the. Okay, so you can see that we now have the products array with a bit different structure so here in every object we have the specs object that has brand size and color so in the specs i'm going to add the ram 8 gb storage 128 and let's add few more products 
the same type okay so now we have to update this filter function so let's make changes filter so here i will add product so i'm passing the callback function that will receive the product for every iteration and we will return the boolean value based on product dot specs dot ram is equal to 8 gb save it all right now you will notice that there is only one phone that has ram of 8 gb so you can also have multiple uh, or conditions as well earlier we saw the and operator this time we will see the or operator so here you can check only show those products that have the ram of 8 gb or a or 4 gb so in this way all of the products that have the ram of 8 gb or 4 gb would be displayed okay we are getting the error because now we don't have the price property here so let me fix instead of that we have the specs property dot ram okay now you can see that both of these products are visible you can also use the custom functions as the callback in the filter method so this allows you to extract the filtering logic into a separate function for better readability and reusability so let me quickly show you the example let me create a function filter by ram and now i will let me remove this parameter and now i will copy this logic cut it and instead of that use this dot filter by ram function so notice that i am not calling this function i am just passing the reference of this function so the filter function would call it by itself so i will just return this from here and we will be receiving the product now it is correct so you can see that it is now working so in this function we defined a custom function called filter by ram that takes a product object and returns a boolean value based on the ram condition we then pass this function as the callback function to the filter method when working with the large arrays it's important to consider the performance implications of using filter method filtering a large array can be computationally expensive especially if filtering condition is complex to optimize performance you can consider these tips first cache the filtered results if the original array doesn't change frequency use pagination to load and display a subset of the data instead of filtering the entire array at once avoid nested loops or complex operations inside the filter callback function array filtering is commonly used in various scenarios in angular applications some practical examples include filtering a list of products based on user selected criteria such as category price range or brand implementing a search functionality where the user can enter keywords to filter and display the matching result another practical example is filtering data based on user permissions or authentication state by leveraging the power of filter method you can create dynamic and interactive user experience in your angular application in this tutorial we explored how to use the array filter method in angular we have covered basic syntax using filter in angular components filtering with arrow functions, applying multiple conditions, nested objects using custom functions, filtering in templates, performance consideration and practical examples. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful in understanding and utilizing the array filter method in your Angular projects. Remember to practice and experiment with different filtering scenarios to solidify your knowledge. Thank you for watching and happy coding.